A minor citation ended in gunfire on a busy street in El Cajon. It is the second shooting in two days involving a local officer. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina is live in El Cajon with new information from witnesses who describe the confrontation that started it all. Steve? Virginia, it began on the sidewalk and street here, ended in this used car lot. You see the bicycle over there and detectives still at work. An officer shot a man he said appeared to be reaching for a gun. Several witnesses gave conflicting reports about a cat and mouse chase inside that fence. Detectives searching for a weapon or clues after a patrol officer shot a man on a bicycle. Roy Mattingly, who didn't want his face shown, was across the street watching. Don't shoot that man. He, you know, he ain't got a weapon. What are you shooting him for? Neighbors heard a siren, then gunfire. I heard one gunshot, and then I heard like five more gunshots, just boom, 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 right after another. The man, known as Black on the street, was illegally riding his bicycle on the sidewalk. The officer was attempting to stop him to write a citation, and things escalated. It's much more than, than he was riding on the sidewalk and got shot. Lieutenant Hinton said the man turned into the dealership display lot, his hand under his belt. The suspect was still reaching into his waistband. The officer uh, gave him orders to uh, make his hands visible, to show his hands he was non-compliant, refused to show his hands. The officer feared for his safety and fired. But I heard six, six shots right away. One, and then, one and, then like five. And, then one, and then five after that. I mean, fast. What appeared to me, he was ducking behind cars to avoid getting shot by that officer. I didn't see him pointing a weapon at an officer. I saw him trying to hide. The man on the bicycle was not well liked here, labeled an intimidator. He was more than asking for trouble. Some people asked for trouble, he was advertising it. He was selling it. Either he's hassling people, he's kind of creeping around. McDermott had complained to police about him twice before. Personal thoughts? He got what was coming to him. Absolutely. Police have not found a weapon, at least reported finding one. The young man stopped by earlier, he said he was the nephew of the man who he said had an attitude and maybe this would be a life changer for him and maybe he would learn from it. The wounds are not described as life threatening.